Hey, Shabbat Shalom, everyone. This is Chris Shoemaker, also known as Yehuda Ben Shomer, and welcome to The Weekly Way, your weekly devotional commentary on the Torah, half Torah, and Brit Chadesha portion. Today we are in Parashah, or Torah portion number 31, which is Emor, which means say, and it's taken from Leviticus chapter 21, verse 1, all the way to chapter 27, verse 34. Our focus text is Leviticus 22, 17 through 25. And basically, to sum this all up, one day we will return to the land of Israel, and the sacrifices will resume. And when they do, we must take care to heed this passage well on a Peshat, on a literal level. Until then, the rabbis and sages of blessed memory told us that since the destruction of the temple, our prayers temporarily take place of the sacrifices. This being said, let us be sure that our prayers are offered before Adonai, pure, without spot or blemish, meaning with the purest of motives and intent, and not for selfish gain or vindictiveness. Make sure we do not pray, quote-unquote, blind or an unclean prayer. Now, our half Torah portion, we're going to focus on Ezekiel chapter 44, verse 15. In this passage, we get a hint on how to pray. It says, But the priest, the Levites, the sons of Zadok, they kept the charge of my sanctuary when the children of Israel went astray from me. They shall come near to me to minister unto me, and they shall stand before me to offer unto me the fat and the blood, saith the Lord God. We offer ourselves, our blood, sweat, and tears. Basically, that's our fat and salt. We pray with zealousness, fervently, and intensely with kavana. That's the Hebrew word for focus. Now, this to tie it up with a real nice bow in the Brit Chresha, Romans 12, 1 and 2, the words of the Apostle Paul, Rav Shaul, uh, sums us up very nicely and kind of like drives home the point of what we're talking about today. It says, I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. And be not conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is good and acceptable in the perfect will of God. Yeshua said in Mark 11:25, and when you stand praying, now there is a prayer in Judaism called the standing prayer. It's called the Amidah. This is what Yeshua is referring to. When you stand praying, forgive if you have aught against any that your Father also which is in heaven may forgive you of your trespasses. And then finally, Matthew 5, 23 through 24, it says, uh, therefore, if thou bring thy gift to the altar, and there remember that thy brother have aught against thee, leave there thy gift before the altar, and go thy way. First, be reconciled to thy brother, and then come and offer thy gift. The quote-unquote gift at this point in time is prayer. Hey guys, thanks so much for listening. Go out there and have a great day. Shabbat Shalom and Shavuot Tov. Hey parents, want to get your kids involved in Torah but just don't know how? Well, go to my website, abrahamsdescendants.com, and look for the kids' Torah portions. Or go to my YouTube channel and check out Kids Torah.